Get the size of that. You chuck a donkey with that. Or me. Good morning from Borenden. In Devon, I think. It's the second vlog from this little mini series of our travels down to the southwest corner of England. We're gonna go in now quickly, get some breakfast there behind us in the hotel, and then we're gonna get going for a day's adventures. So thanks for joining us for a new episode of Sean and Tecker right here on this channel. Great to see you here. If you're new to this place, subscribe as well. breakfast has been had. It was a wee bit, I don't know what the word is, average, considering it was very expensive, 20 quid each. Very, very expensive for breakfast and not amazing. But anyway, it was breakfast and we're full. So that, that's a good starting point for the day. Anyway, today, where are we going? Um, the Eden Project. Eden Project. Eden Project is a I don't know what it is, it's like a botanical gardens but on steroids. We were there last night for a concert, and that was from the previous vlog. And I'll put the link down below if you've not seen that yet. But um, yeah, it's about an hour's drive from here. Alright, we're here at the Eden Project. The biomes that we want to visit are down here. See these things down here? Lenny Snails are also doing another concert here tonight as well. And she's wondering, because we're already in the venue, can we just stay? <laughs> and look, I don't think it's like that, but look, the stage that we were at last night is right there, behind us. See? You can actually watch from here. Tech is a rock and roll girl at heart, which is something that I never was. Well, that's what she is. She likes music, she likes concerts. I'm more of a nature person, so actually this is the kind of perfect place for us both. Yeah. Are you filming me? Yeah. Let's go see these plants. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know. What does it say? No, please don't drink. I don't know. It says there on the sign, if you're adventurous you can drink. Kind of me up. <laughs> I'm genuinely thirsty, so. Oh, that tastes terrible. Yeah. Okay, there's two biomes here. One is a Mediterranean one, and then about that way is a rainforest. I think I'm going to enjoy the rainforest one a lot more. So I always think, like, save the best to last. So we're going to check out the Mediterranean one first. We're now inside inside the biome. It's like it has a tattoo. It really, really reminds me of Brazil, this plant, this flower. And it does say what? Like, native of South America. That was nice. Lots of pretty flowers. Uh, but we're going to go to the bigger rainforest biome now, which I think will be my favorite because I love rainforest type stuff. Take us home. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, I live in a forest. No, I didn't mean like that. I mean like, you know, the rainforest is from Brazil. It's a Brazilian thing. And like, uh, yeah, it should be like, I, I've I feel... I've been more in the forest after I met you than ever in my life. Oh, but there's forests in your state even, in Spirit Santo. I know, but I don't go there. <laughs> but I understand what you mean. It's fine. Not offended? Not offended. Someone in the comments will be. It will be. <laughs> Sorry. It's always someone offended. We've now entered the rainforest and I think they're playing sounds of like 
jungle bugs, like cicadas and stuff, on some microphone somewhere, because I can hear them. Now we're talking about your home. <laughs> yeah. Your dad even grows coffee at home. Yeah. But, I'm not sure. There's a lot of uh, uh, countries in Asia, they have coffee. And Africa. As well. And Africa. Yeah. They're green. We are. Yeah. Huh? Say the word. Jabuchikaba. <laughs> I can say now. I can say that. It was difficult for Sean to say that. It took me many years of trying to speak Portuguese before I could say Jabuchikaba. It's a very difficult word. Oh, this one. It's a type of, It's like a berry, isn't it? Is that a berry? Yeah. They're really yeah, delicious, though. This is a Jabuchikaba tree. My mum's got one in the garden. And a lot of people don't know this. I do know this because I've seen them in Brazil, but pineapples actually grow on the ground like that on little, little bushes. <laughs> I feel like to get the scale of these leaves, I needed to come under here and show you. They're huge. This is a banana leaf. Banana tree leaf, right? Yes. Wild, it says. A wild banana. If it was raining, this would protect me from the rain. I'm like an umbrella. Yep. Welcome to the Rainforest Canopy Walkway, thanks to no one. It's part of the ecosystem. Yeah. It's raining. <laughs> oh, it moves. Oh my god, it moves a lot. Like a it moves a lot. <laughs> it moves a lot. It's like bouncing. <laughs> it's like a suspension bridge here. Across the canopy. Oh my god, I'm wobbling. I'm not holding on. It's pretty cool though, I like that. What if I bounce up and down a wee bit? Tekka doesn't like that. It's just because I'm going to drop the phone. <laughs> Look at this! Don't! <laughs> Stop it! I'm going to drop the phone. It really shiggles around. I'm not even trying anymore, it just shiggles. I'm just walking like normal. I need to get off here. It's so funny here because the concert's on tonight. This place is full of mature rockers. It's like the goth day out. Look at Daisy's on the other side of this pet bush. Again, we seem to have been lied to by the weather forecast because it was supposed to rain today, earlier. It's Texas is going to rain only at six now. But now the sun's out, blue sky, it's almost like a beach day. You can go to the beach in Cornwall, we've still got time. We don't have swimsuits on. Yeah, we don't have our swimming costumes on, as my mum would say. Swimming costume. Swimming costume. That's what we call it in Scotland. Quite funny that, swimming costume. You think that's funny? Yeah, it's funny. It's a weird way to say it. Um, anyway, we absolutely do not need any more plants in our flat, in our apartment. But, I can't resist our plant shop. Depends on what they have. I'm going to put that funny music on. Dun, 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 dun. It's so pretty. Hold up. Oh my god, as the forecast predicted, the nice weather has suddenly departed us. This is well we made it back to the car, it's like a storm coming through here, oh my word. Woo. Let's get in. Ah. Ah. Jesus. Some hold that. Takes our breath away. Oh, severe. Look at Gale force winds blowing outside. I'm holding Tucker's plant. Mine only. Our plant. <laughs> that was a great day at the Eden Project. Um, we've come back to the hotel and we've changed rooms now because we we only booked the other room for one night and then that's one for another night as well. So we've got another bedroom. Um, I've just had a quick shower and we're going to jump right off to the spa, to the pool, because we've got another night here. All night and it's only 5.30pm, we've got plenty of time. And it's funny how the weather works here. Yesterday, 33 degrees Celsius, and today it's now 14 as we were driving home with a lot of rain. A lot of rain and wind, like half the temperature in one day. It's absolutely bizarre. Um, so we're just going to jump downstairs to the pool uh, and get in the spa, enjoy it, because there's a really nice, hot, bubbly pool there. Just waiting on Tekka getting out of the shower, and then we're going. But what a day. Hopefully you guys had a good insight to that um, Eden Project place. It was really cool. Never been before. Uh, but I've always heard of it and it's a place that is kind of recognised around the world and a lot of people go and I would recommend it if you're in the area. There's Tekka, so we're going. I'm just putting this out there, right? <laughs> I 
I think I need to deserve a Husband of the Year award because we were the garden, we didn't project, right? We came back to the hotel, in the pool, in the spa. We've been here for 10 minutes. 15 minutes? Yeah. And I sent a wee email out earlier on to the, the concert place because I knew Tech was like a massive fan of Nine Inch Nails. And I said to the people, is there any chance you might be able to spare a press ticket, a press pass for me and my wife? And they didn't answer, so we came back to the hotel, which is an hour drive away, and came to the pool. And they just replied right now saying, actually we do. So we're going back to the Eden Project and we're, <laughs> and we're going to the concert. That's amazing. <laughs> I'll see them twice. <laughs> Let's go. Wow, wow, wow. Chaos. So much chaos. Just arrived back from the Eden, Pro Eden Project. Our drive. And we're heading straight back there. And like I said, we were at the Eden Project and Tekka saw that Nine Inch Nails, the band that we saw last night in another vlog, were playing here again tonight. And like I said, it's our favourite brand and they're from the States and they don't play that often here. So she was like, oh, I really want to come back. She saw all the kind of old school rockers that were there at the Eden Project waiting for the show tonight. And it kind of made her think, oh, I wish I could come again tonight. But the tickets were sold out. So what I did was I sent an email to the PR people say, listen, I'm here in Cornwall. I'm making vlogs. I wonder if you have any press passes. And hey-ho, we come back to the hotel thinking they weren't going to reply to us because it was so late in the day. And then, boom. Just as we were getting <laughs> settled down in that pool, we got a reply from the Eden Project, PR people. Really a big shout out to those guys for hooking us up. I am now husband of the year, definitely there's no dispute. And Tech is very happy, very, very happy. So that is good, always good. Exactly the same time we left yesterday. Um, so we should get there in a good time for the band started. It's gonna be a rainy one tonight, unlike yesterday when it was sweltering hot. On the shuttle bus. We both look a wee bit crazy. Is that a song? <laughs> So, the second time in a day we're here. We're here. <laughs> wet and happy. Wet. Very wet and very happy. <laughs> I'm sure that should say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Take pasties on the way out. I just remembered why I don't like them. And a t shirt. You're eating though, it would be nice. I remember now why I don't like them though. Why? They're full of potatoes. Oh. I don't like potatoes. Full of onions as well, and I'm eating. Yeah. Not mine, so somebody else dropped their pasty. Oh well. Made it back to the car. Got the heater on because it's freezing. Oh my god, look at my hair. Let's try these pasties. When in Cornwall. When in Rome. And when in Cornwall. On his pasties. Look at the size of that. You'd choke a donkey with that. Or me. The last time I had a Cornish pasty, a true Cornish pasty, I didn't like it because it was from St. Ives, probably a bit touristy, but these ones actually look alright, they smell good. I just hope I don't not a huge potato fan, so if it's full of potato, I won't like it. That's so dry. Good morning. From Boringdon. We're about to uh, set off this morning. Not any breakfast yet. 
Deck is in the car, we're about to set off on what I think will be a 10 hour drive, maybe more, from here near Plymouth, in the very south west of England, all the way up to Edinburgh. I love road trips. Love it, love it, love it. We've had a great time in Cornwall. Pretty memorable, wasn't it? Yes.